slowly disappears. And I live just like the animals. And something happened which unleashed the power of our imagination. We were in the talk. Okay, so I'm in this group called Tear Down the Facade, and there are a lot of crazy Christians on this group. They added me a while ago. I don't know why. I think I, I think me and my one friend My Myra is the only atheist there. But anyway, this one guy named James, he he has been posting a lot recently about burn the Quran day and stuff. Which I always reply, why burn the Quran? Why not burn the Bible? Number one, the fact that burning a book is just stupid. It's just a book. It's useless. It has no value at all. It's just and burning it is just stupid. It's only the fact that people who take who, who read it who read the book and actually use it as literal interpretation and actually do their actions by that book. That's it. And and he's just saying he's just saying that we should burn it and crap it's an evil book. And then I go to say that the Bible is even the most evil book I've read. And I've read the Quran, the uh, Necronomicon and various other books. Uh, and he's just saying no it's not. He was on yada yada yada. And I tell him that the Bible is one of the most cruelest things I've ever re read in my entire history of reading. And he's saying, that's bullshit, the Bible is truth and love. I'm not going to touch on that right now, I'm going to touch on the fact that he wants to burn the Quran. He made a, uh, state, a uh, post a few, hours, a few hours ago, it's a press release apparently, it's a long press release about burning the Quran and everything. And my reply to that would be, and I'm going to read this to you right now if I can click on it why not he puts at the end of it uh, God bless America and stuff this is what I applied to the entire thing why not God bless all countries everywhere because well why would God have a favorite country you know sure he has a favorite people the Jews but still anyway why burn a useless meaningless book it's a fable just like all other holy books and it, and it is useless if burning, if if you're burning them to make a statement, fine. But as long as the statement isn't something, isn't something ignorant, like what you're saying above. Also, you realize that if you, if this actually happens, many Americans' lives will be at risk due to the fanatics over in the Middle East that uh, hear about the news and stuff about the burning of Quran. And last time that happened, majorly anyway, over 20 people, American, innocent American people, died. Were killed because of that. No apparent reason but these ignorant people who uh, start, decided to burn the Quran. And his reply, and I quote, George equal blah 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 blah. And that was only an hour after I wrote that. Five minutes after I wrote that, I write, after he wrote that, I write, really? You don't care about the many American lives that are at risk just because of your ignorance and your selfishness just because you wanted to burn a useless meaningless book that doesn't have has really enough, nothing the only thing that you know it's going to incite them and make them angry then he hasn't answered yet at all and I think he's scared I don't know why people would burn the Quran it's just stupid it's meaningless and it's just ignorant Burning the Quran just like burning Harry Potter, burning this book right here, the Bible. Meaningless uses and just stupid to burn a book. The book has no meaning. The book is nothing. The book is just a thing of a, a place of words, a picture. No, I'm sorry. Some books have pictures. This books mainly have words on paper. They're useless. The only way this book, any book, can affect us is if it has, if, if people take action to it. People take action to what's in it and actually take it literally. I don't take the Harry Potter series literally. And yet somehow people still take the Bible and the Quran literally. I'm not trying to get poke fun poke fun or embarrass or make fun of anything. I'm just saying that burning the Quran is just stupid. It's going to hurt many people. It's an ignorant statement. I mean if I wanted to I could burn this thing and many Christians would be pissed at me. Because I decided to use my free speech and burn this. But if but they can burn this and they don't care what the Muslims think at all. They're just ignorant and stupid. For those of you who say we should burn the Quran, 
Why not burn all holy books that are offensive to anyone? Yet? I choose my favorite, the Bible. We should burn this more. Okay, that's the most evil, cruelest, narcissistic thing I've ever read. I'm sorry, that I've ever read in my entire life. So, if you think burning the Quran is okay, fine. It's your freedom of speech, freedom of expression, fine. But if you're doing it for ignorant reasons, such as you're just doing it because you think their religion is evil, and not for some actual real statement, no, and also you're doing it not just because of the religious thing, but just because you just because you think it's stupid, the religion, even though your religion is even stupider and your book is even more cooler, then don't do it. Especially when knowing, no matter what, knowing that the lives of at least 20 or so Americans and the last time, I, it was 20, so I'm going to say probably the same amount, if they do it this, this time, that 20 people, 21 people will be killed, innocent people will be killed, just because of their, just because of these Christians' ignorance and intolerance of the Quran, which has not done harm to them personally, they just think it's a horrible book, and they think it teaches horrible things. Some of them even go far as, in the group, tear it out of the facade as saying that the Quran is nothing but a terrorist group, but book written for terrorists by terrorists, which I always have to say, I don't know if it's not, it was written nearly a fa over a thousand years ago by Muhammad for his religion of Islam and it takes after the basically from the Old Testament Christianity and Islamism is a form of is a branch of, of Judaism they're from the same family they're gonna bet they're gonna try to bound the book, book of a brother Oh, we go, 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 we go,